under the waves, deep in the darkness of the ocean, there's a big, yet a silent machine, a deadly weapon patrolling the world's vast oceans undetected. It's one of the U.S. Navy's nuclear submarines, equipped with advanced warfare systems and incredible submerging capabilities. This submarine can remain below the surface for up to six months, allowing stealthy maneuvers and tactical surprises against enemies. Have you ever wondered what goes inside these secret warfare machines? How exactly the submarines are operated? And how does the crew train for real combat situations? Today on Boost, we'll take a rare look inside the life that shapes the resilient character of the men and women who call the depth of the sea their workplace, their home. The nuclear submarine is designed to go deeper than a thousand feet under the sea, facing intense pressure. Crew members can be under the water for weeks to months at a time for a mission, and in some cases, even years, with only short breaks above water. How long they stay underwater depends on things like the mission's goals, sea conditions, upkeep, and restocking. Stops at ports give the crew a little break and a chance to get some fresh air before continuing their mission. Working with the people who run the port, the crew makes sure the submarine is safely tied up and ready to leave. Then, it's time for the submarine to dive again. Being away from the rest of the world and working towards a common goal makes the crew form strong bonds with each other. Inside the tight space of this Los Angeles-class fast-attack submarine, more than a hundred sailors live and work closely together. They keep an eye out for any dangers and are ready to act quickly and decisively if needed. Even with limited room and time, they make careful and well-thought-out decisions. U.S. submarines boast a unique dining experience, offering sailors a taste of life on land and ensuring the crew is well-fed. In the kitchen below the waves, chefs begin meal preparations hours in advance, creating dishes ranging from Italian to Mediterranean flavors. Quite impressive for being deep in the ocean, isn't it? Apart from the kitchen, submarines are equipped with various other amenities. The exterior includes the vertical launch system, a key defense mechanism for launching Tomahawk missiles when needed. The submarine also features a lockout trunk, used both for emergency exits and as a weather drainage system. The crew's living areas, although compact, have all the essential equipment, including a fire emergency system. In the fire control room, specialists oversee and manage the submarine's attack capabilities with great accuracy. Meanwhile, in the ship control room, crew members navigate the submarine with a joystick, much like flying an airplane. The torpedo room stands out as a specialized area for storing and deploying torpedoes and ammunition. There's also the machinery room. Amid their duties, sailors find relaxation in their free time, whether by reading, playing chess, or enjoying video games. This personal time allows each sailor to find their own way to unwind. Unfortunately, there's no internet connection, so they can't watch videos by Boost. But you can, and to receive our new videos, Make sure you are subscribed to our channel and also click the thumbs up button while you're at it. When it's time to go back to the surface, a submarine adjusts its ballast tanks to start rising. The crew lets out compressed air into these tanks, pushing out water and making the submarine more buoyant. This careful action makes the submarine move up towards the surface. When it reaches the right height, water is let back into the ballast tanks to make the submarine buoyant in a normal way and keep it steady at the surface. You'd typically see crew members standing on the bridge fin, the highest point. Here, the commanding officer and the crew keep an eye on where they're going. The bridge fin isn't designed to withstand pressure. Its shape, like that of an airplane wing, is to cut through the air smoothly, reducing resistance. This careful design helps keep the submarine quiet under the water. Inside the submarine, there are several masts, like the periscope, communication, radar, and weapon sensors. These are used when the submarine is near the surface. The periscope lets the crew see what's happening above water without being seen. Radar can spot ships and planes nearby, helping the crew stay aware of their surroundings. These tools help the crew watch quietly. They're always collecting information from these devices to help make smart decisions, 
Officers on the bridge pay close attention to sonar signals, work out where torpedoes should go, and keep an eye on how deep they are. They're deeply focused, understanding the vastness of the sea around them. They carry the dedication of the U.S. Navy, aiming to be the best in any conflict. Part of their success comes from constant practice and making sure all their equipment works perfectly. In 2020, the USS Chicago, a Los Angeles-class submarine, carried out tests with the encapsulated Harpoon training missile in the Pacific Ocean. These tests are crucial for submarines planning to use and launch Harpoon missiles in combat. The Harpoon system provides commanders with the ability to strike ships in any weather, allowing for quick action against distant targets. The loading of the training missile happened at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. Both the crew and civilian workers meticulously prepared for this operation. They used a specially made spherical bracket to ensure the missile could be safely loaded onto the submarine. This bracket was designed to perfectly match the training missile's design, consisting of two separate pieces. The team first set up the bottom piece, then precisely placed the training missile on it before attaching the top piece to secure the unit firmly. Maintaining balance was crucial throughout this process. After that, they connected cables to the setup, lifting the training missile and smoothly transporting it into the submarine through the watertight hatch. Once positioned, the crew secured the bolts, conducted final inspections, and began the process for deploying the encapsulated Harpoon training missile. In the command center, the leader gave the order to launch the missile. After deactivating the missile, the team retrieved it to analyze the gathered data. Performing such analyses is essential for ensuring the Navy's dominance and readiness. The crew also regularly participates in a variety of other training exercises and drills, including submerging and surfacing maneuvers, nuclear reactor management, fire control practices, damage management exercises, emergency response training, and submarine evacuation procedures. A key training activity for submarines is the torpedo exercise. This involves the steps of loading, targeting, launching, and recovering torpedoes. Some torpedo exercises, known as sinking drills, involve using torpedoes to sink a ship that's being decommissioned. Alternatively, in training exercises, torpedoes are launched at fake targets without live warheads. Inserting a torpedo into a submarine might seem straightforward, but demands the crew's undivided attention to guarantee safety for both personnel and equipment. The process begins with opening the torpedo tube. Then, the crew positions the nearly 20-foot-long, 21-inch diameter, 1.2-ton torpedo onto the loading mechanism. Once correctly aligned, the torpedo is gently slid into its tube. The tube is then sealed, readying the torpedo for deployment. Being an autonomous underwater missile, the torpedo uses its own power source to propel itself towards its target. Precision in targeting is essential, requiring detailed calculations to ensure the torpedo follows the correct path to its target. Experienced submariners adjust the torpedo's guidance system for utmost accuracy. Upon receiving the order, a robust piston launches the torpedo from its tube. As it reaches a pivotal point, a valve within the torpedo opens, allowing water to rush in and activate its main power source. This triggers the activation of its dual propellers, thrusting the torpedo forward at an impressive speed of 50 knots towards a destination up to 31 miles away. Following the launch, the crew initiates a retrieval operation for the torpedo. Helicopters are deployed, carrying equipment and personnel to the location where the torpedo is predicted to exhaust its fuel. Utilizing tracking devices, the team creates access points, Divers from the U.S. Coast Guard plunge into the icy waters below the ice layer to locate the torpedo. Upon finding it, they attach weights to adjust the torpedo's buoyancy to neutral. The torpedo is then secured with brackets and cables. Coordination with helicopter pilots follows, enabling the vertical extraction of the used torpedo through an additional opening. Once the torpedo is brought to land, the Navy analyzes the gathered data to assess its functionality. This information is crucial for maintaining and enhancing naval dominance. What are your thoughts on these nuclear submarines and their operations? Comment below. And if you think this video was interesting and would like to see more, 
click the like and subscription buttons too and keep watching Boost by clicking the next video on your screen now.